Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Anne and this is the very first video of 2021. So first of all, I want to say Happy New Year. I hope you will all have a very wonderful 2021. Let's hope it's better than the last year. And as for this video, I just want to talk to you about my reading plans for 2021. I'm hoping this will be a short video. That was the idea, but it happens quite often that I want to make a short video and then I end up rambling. So I'm going to try not to do that today. So for the past few years I've been using a bullet journal and in that bullet journal I've also kept track of my reading and I've got a very beautiful new one for this year. It is my favorite color. It has a beautiful embossed leaf on it and I'm very happy with it. And in this reading journal I keep track of my reading challenge for Goodreads. I want to read 50 books this year. That's the goal. Last year I ended up reading 76 books, which is much more than I expected to. I put my goal at 50 at the start of the year, but due to the lockdown and social distancing, I've been reading much more than normal. So I'm not sure how 2021 will go. If all goes well, we might be able to go out more this year, later this year, but maybe I've just found a new normal and this is just how I'm reading now. So I've drawn a bookcase with 50 books on this page. Let's see if I can focus on that. So as I'm finishing books throughout the year, I'm going to color in the book with the color of the book. And then I'm going to write an acronym or abbreviation acronym, I think, of the title of the book on it because the entire title won't fit. And on the other side of the spread, I've got the 10 books I want to read in 2021. Since 2019, I've been making a list every year of 10 books that I really want to read. These are all books that are on my shelves, books that are on my physical TBR. Most of them have been on it for a very long time. Usually for this list, I choose books that I really want to read, but that for one reason or another, I simply don't pick up. Often it's because they're a bit intimidating. There are a few of those on this list as well. And sometimes it's also just because I keep forgetting about them or because I keep prioritizing other books. The first book on this list is The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco. I've heard very good things. It's set in a 14th century Italian monastery and it's supposed to be very suspenseful and exciting. Next up, we've got a book by one of my favorite authors, He Forgot to Say Goodbye by Benjamin Alira Sands. I've had this book for almost three years and for some reason I still haven't read it, even though I tend to give all of his books five stars. Then there's Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. I really liked The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, which is Anne Bronte's other book, so I really want to give this a go as well. Next up is She is Fierce by Anna Sampson. I forgot to put on the dust jacket because I've actually already started this. This is a collection of poetry by women. Brave, bold, beautiful and fierce women. Then we've got History of Wolves by Emily Fridland. I just noticed that you write her name without an E and everywhere I've written this, I've written it with an E, so that's dumb. But this was a gift from my parents, I think in 2017. It sounds very interesting. It was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize, but I still haven't read it. Then there's The Secret History by Donna Tartt, which is a book that intimidates me, but it's very popular. Everybody seems to love it and I'm excited to read it this year. Next up, there's A Symmetry by Lisa Halliday. This was a gift from my parents-in-law. I hadn't heard about it, but my boyfriend has since read it and he says it's very good, so I'm excited to read it too. Then there's The Red Notebook by Paul Oster, who wrote one of my favorite books, The New York Trilogy. This is a collection of essays, interviews and other things that explore the compulsion to write literature and I'm excited to read it, but this is not a book I would normally pick up, hence its place on this list. Next up is another classic. It's Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. This has been on my TBR for a very long time. So by putting it on this list, I'll hopefully finally read it. Also, it's a very pretty copy with green sprayed edges. So that's cool, I guess. And then the last book on this list is actually the last book I bought in 2020. So in that sense, it doesn't really deserve a place on this list because it's such a recent purchase, but I really want to read it and I want to prevent it from ending up on next year's list. And that book is Troy by Stephen Fry. This is a retelling of the Trojan War. So those are the 10 books on my list of 10 books I want to read in 2021. But I have a few more reading plans. A few weeks ago, I posted a video in which I told you about six authors whose books I really want to read. They're all authors I've been curious about for a long time, but I haven't read anything from. So I've committed myself to reading the books or some of the books I mentioned in that video. I've ordered a few of them, they haven't arrived yet, but I can of course mention them to you. They're The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin, When the Moon Was Ours 
by Anna Marie McLemore, Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin, The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin, and then there are two books that I do already own, Bear the Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, and The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. And this I'm actually planning on reading next month, because this brings us to my last reading plan thing for the year, and that is the Buzzword-a-thon, which is a reading challenge or read-a-thon type thing that's hosted by Books and Lala, or, and perhaps someone else, but I'm not entirely sure, but because apparently I didn't do my homework very well. But this is a year-long project type thing that I'm treating as a reading challenge, and for every month there is a certain prompt or a certain buzzword that you'll need to fulfill. And that sounds a bit vague, so I'm just going to give you the example of January. In January, the prompt is to read a book with the word dream in the title. It's that simple. Every month there is one word or one collection of words that you'll have to find in the title of a book that you want to read. So this month it's dream, but next month it is a color. So you can read a book with any color in the title. And that's why I'm reading, <laughs> picking it up again, The Priory of the Orange Tree next month. And this might be enough to tide me over for an entire month, but if not, I've kind of decided that I want to read all books with colors in the title next month. So I might read, where is it? Over here, Black Girl Unlimited. And I know I've got many more books with colors in the title, but I'm forgetting about them now. But if you want to know more about that reading challenge, which I'm very excited to partake in because it's easy, just one book a month. Although you can also treat it as a readathon in which every first week of the month you read as many books as you can for that prompt. But I'm treating it as one book a month. And it's just fun to have a challenge like that every month. An easy one to fulfill, but something to please the part of me that really likes these types of challenges. If you want to know more about the Buzzwordathon, I'll leave the link to Kayla's video down below so you can check it out. I've also made a spread for this in my bullet journal. So I've written down every month and the prompt for that month. And then as I'm reading the books, I'll fill them in behind the prompts. It's as easy as that. And this month for the first prompt, I'm reading The Dreamers by Karen... Walker Thompson? I'm not entirely sure what her name is, but I've got it on ebook. I'll put the cover right here. So that's just a quick video to tell you about my reading plans. There will probably be many readathons during the year that I'll be excited to participate in, but I haven't found them yet. I haven't gone looking for them yet. I usually come across them a few days before they start, but I love a good readathon. So if you know of any good readathons that you think I might enjoy, please leave them down in the comments and please tell me about your reading plans in the comments. I love hearing what other people are up to. And please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos in the future. And have a wonderful day. Bye.